All right, thanks for watching. And today we'll cover another fun related rates problem, which says as follows. So two cars, they start at the same point. One travels east at a constant speed of two miles per hour, and the other one travels north at three miles per hour. Pretty slow cars in my opinion. At which rate is the distance between the two cars changing after two hours? So again, long problem, but let's dissect it again with our related rates uh, features method. So first of all, it's important you draw a picture. So essentially what you have, two cars, they start at the same point. One is going east and the other one is going north. So let x of t, if you want, the position of the, be the position of the first car and y of t be the position of the second car. Then the question is, what do we want to find? Well, we want to find how the distance is changing. So let z of t be the distance between the two cars. What we want to find, we want to find how z is changing after two hours. So we want to find, in other words, dz over dt, which is just z prime of t, at t equals two hours. In other words, what we want to do, we want to find z prime of two. And now what we need to do, we need to find some equation that relates all our quantities. Well, notice we have a right triangle with x, y, and z, so it's good to use the Pythagorean theorem. So in other words, by the Pythagorean theorem, what do we know? We know z of t squared equals x of t squared plus y of t squared. And then remember the next step, it's simply to differentiate everything. So in other words, two z of t times z prime of t, using the Chen Lu, it's two x of t, x prime of t, plus two y of t, y prime of t. And then the nice thing is we can cancel out the twos and then what we're left with, it's simply z of t, z prime of t equals x of t, x prime of t plus y of t, y prime of t. Now the point is we just need to plug everything in. So z of two, z prime of two, it's x of two, x prime of two, plus y of 2, y prime of 2. However, the nice thing is, we do know what a lot of the quantities are. So if you remember the statement of the problem, we know that one car is going east at the speed of 2 miles per hour. So that was the car x, the one that moves horizontally. On the other hand, we have the car y that drives vertically north at three miles per hour. So what we know is that essentially x prime of t is always two, y prime of t is always three. So x in particular, x prime of two, keep forgetting, x prime is a two. And y prime of 2, it's 3. But then the question is, we know what the speed of the cars are, but what about x and y? What about the distance? Well, remember your physics a little bit. So remember that distance is just speed times time. So x of 2, that's distance, and that's speed times time. And that just becomes 
2 times 2 hours, which is 4. On the other hand, what about y? Well, y of 2, same spiel. So that's again speed times time, which is just 3 times 2, and that's 6. So that's very good. So we know x of 2 that we just figured out. We know x prime of 2, which is 2. We know y of 2. We need y. We know y prime of 2. This is what we need to find. So last but not least, all we need to do is find z of 2. But now remember what's useful in related rates is to sort of draw the picture again but with our variables plugged in. So now x of 2, again, that's uh, 4. y of 2 is 6. And the question is, then what is the rest? Well, for this, we can just use, again, the Pythagorean theorem. So z of 2, that just becomes square root. So question mark is just square root of 4 squared plus 6 squared. And I believe that square root of 16 plus 36, and that's I think, square root of 52, which I believe you can just simplify to be, so square root of just four times 13, and essentially this becomes two times square root of 13. And that is precisely z of two. Okay, good. And last but not least, as I said, we just plug it into our equality. So what did we have? I believe that z of 2, z prime of 2, equals x of 2, x prime of 2, plus y of 2, y prime of 2. Okay. Therefore, what do we have? So z of 2, it's 2 square root of 13 times z prime of 2, then let me keep forgetting, so x was the uh, slower car, so that's 4 times 2, 4 times 2, and then plus, I think, uh, 3, uh, sorry, um, so about 2 times 4, no, no, never mind, 4 times 2, never mind. Okay, so 4 times 2, and then plus 6 times 3, which again becomes 2 square root of 13, z prime of 2. This becomes 8 plus 18, which is 26. Okay. And therefore, z prime of 2, that becomes 26 over 2 square root of 13, which is 13 over square root of 13. Nicely enough, this simplifies to the square root of 13. So our answer is then the distance, so uh, z prime of 2. After two hours, the distance increases by 13 uh, miles per hour. Again, 13, that's between 9 and 16, so square root of 13 is somewhere between uh, 3 and 4. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.